Hey guys, the Cubed here, and today I have an unboxing from Lightake. So over the next few days, I will be experimenting with lighting and microphones. Uh, microphone singular. I just got my first microphone, other than my uh, the audio I use for my phone or the microphone for my phone. I got a blue snowball microphone. I've heard a lot of people use it. I'm not experimenting with the lighting in this video because I've yet to actually do anything about the lighting. So you're still going to have those shadows. Uh, making some changes to my channel, I'll have a separate video about that probably after this video, just going over those. But anyways, I'll try and get better lighting. I hope this microphone works. If not, I'll just stick with the, uh, with the normal audio that I just take from my phone. Light Take sent me a bunch of cubes. They sent me five... Let's actually see what they sent me. I thought they were going to send me five uh, Cyclone Boys 3x3s. However, this does not seem to be the case. Let's see what they decided to send me. Okay, so here we have we have two cubes in one. I have no clue what this says. So I will probably have to contact them and figure out the name of that. And here we have another Cyclone Boys 3x3. I told them to put labels on them. Uh, I guess we'll see if they did it directly onto the cube because I was aware they were going to be sending me some Cyclone Boys 3x3s and I know there are multiple names. Or there are multiple different kinds of Cyclone Boy 3x3s. But uh, anyways, they decided to send me all of these. I put the scissors aside. So here are all the puzzles I got. Now let's just go over them and give you my first impressions. I looked up on the cubicle because I knew they actually had posted some uh, new Cyclone Boys 3x3s in their new arrivals page. So I'm assuming these two are the ones that are listed on the cubicle website. This one would be the Cyclone Boys 3x3 uh, I don't want to butcher this, I'm just going to spell it, J-I-S-U-Z-H-I-Y-U-N, and the 4x4 is just, it just says the Cyclone Boys 4x4 G4. So I'm assuming that's what those two are. I have zero idea what this is, but it comes with a nice mini cube, so that's really cool. I've never had a mini Cyclone Boys, I didn't even know they had them. And then here we have the Moryu Wheel of Time, and I find it kind of funny that Moryu still puts Felix on the box, even though he changed his main to the game 3. For those of you that didn't know. But anyways, I'm going to jump into this last because I've been looking forward to that. And let's just jump straight into the Cyclone Boys 4x4 four four G4. So, let's see if this is a, as good of a cube as the Yushin. Now, first, let's see if I can open it up. Okay, so, let's take a look at this. For some reason, this feels a bit smaller than normal. Let me go ahead and grab my Aosu. And let's look at that size difference right there. So that is indeed a lot smaller than a normal 4x4. Four, normal four now I'm going to compare it with the mini Aosu size. So those are about the same size. So it's a mini 4x4. Four four. In my opinion, it's already better than uh, the mini Aosu just because the mini Aosu tends to be a bit sluggish for some reason. Even though this is actually catching a little bit like that. I'm trying to push that, but it's not going. Corner cutting. Pretty good, I guess. And then let's look at the inner layers. Alright, so uh, right off the bat, I wouldn't actually recommend it now that I think about it, because there is the Yushin 4x4 out there and a regular Aosu, which are definitely the top 4x4s in the market. And uh, if you're going over either the mini Aosu or this, because of that locking up after I said that one comment, which I now will disagree with about it being better than the mini Aosu, I would go for the mini Aosu if you want a mini 4x4. However, if, if you want a regular 4x4, I would highly recommend you guys go out and buy the Yushin 4x4. Let's uh, do first turns. Feels a little bit light. And it already feels a little airy, but I guess we'll see. It feels pretty good out of the box. It's smooth, it's fast. Let's look at corner cutting 45. 
Nope. Let's see if they can do it on any side. Maybe there's inconsistent tensioning. Okay, so uh, right out of the box, it doesn't seem to cut 45, but it seems to cut around that much. And then reverse. Not as well as some of those three bridges out there, but it seems pretty good out of the box. Let's go ahead and look at the pieces because I will not be reviewing these. So anyways, here is the edge with the corner. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at these two. I just decided to leave out the opening up of the package because it took a little bit of time. Uh, what I'm thinking is that this is a mini version of this cube. So I'm going to do first turns on this and then that and then compare the pieces just quickly. This feels fast, just like most Cyclone Boys do with these. Not a big fan of the colors. I don't like Cyclone Boys. Like these are just these are too similar for me. If I was just quickly going, I'd probably think they're the same. But that's just me and my broken eyes. Corner cutting seems pretty good. You can do 45 on some sides, I think, or at least a little bit less than 45. Yeah, a little bit less. Uh, let's go ahead and look re reverse. Better than that 3x3, for sure. So let's go ahead and do first turns on this. Okay, terrible. This is not a good 3x3. Three three. Uh, these are definitely not similar. This is really slow, it's really sluggish. The uh, center cap is about to pop off. As you can see there, it's lifting up. So I'll push that down. That was a pain to even just do a T-perm. Okay, and another center cap is about to fall. Corner cutting. Let's see how good this is. That, you can't even do that. I'm not going to go over that. Bad cube. Bad mini cube. Terrible. So, this one. If I were to choose out of these Cyclone Boy 3x3s, which I will eventually put an annotation on for this one because I'm not quite sure of the name, or if anybody actually knows the name and I don't yet have an annotation, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, I would choose this one over that 3x3 for sure. Corner cutting is a lot better. A little bit faster. Uh, I'm not going to compare the pieces between these two, but I guess I can compare the pieces between these two. Let's see what the difference is between these. Maybe they just happen to be uh, the same cube, just one stickerless. In that case, the stickerless one is better. But uh, it seems to me that these are just the exact same thing. I'm actually going to put this edge in here. And then this. I don't know why I did the edge first. So I'm going to do that. Okay, so it seems to me that uh, these are just the same puzzle. That one just happens to be uh, black plastic, and this is just stickerless. So, I would get the stickerless, unless you wanted a competition legal one. As of now, stickerless cubes are not competition legal, I'm pretty sure. They're rumored to have been illegal sometime in March. However, I'm sure you will guys, uh, you guys will see some video announcements on that, because that will definitely be... A big change in competitions. So, as many of you know, I tend to like puzzles that involve wheels. I love the Die and Gem 6, which is simply a uh, shape mod. Or not a shape mod, it's basically a truncated Die and Wheel of Wisdom, which has wheels. I really, really have always wanted the Moyu, or uh, the Smash Time Machine. However, I do not have that yet. I've wanted it for a few years. And this looks like a really interesting puzzle. First turns. Turns really well, that's for sure. Uh, it feels a little weird just like because of how the puzzle is. Uh, so this wheel does turn, so I can do something such as that and then turn that. And it's really easy to turn this wheel. So I could turn that and then mix it up like that. So that should make for a really interesting solve. Alright, so I was uh, originally not going to be scrambling this in this video. However, after thinking about it for about 30 seconds, 
I decided to scramble it. So let's go ahead and do so. Thank you very much to Light Take for sending me all of these puzzles. I really do appreciate it. Uh, my final thoughts, if I were to get a 4x4, a mini 4x4, I would go with the Aosu. However, I would highly recommend you guys go out and buy the Yushin 4x4. I have a video on that, which you guys can go check out on my channel. Uh, I believe these two are the exact same 3x3s. I'm not quite sure what this one is, but it's terrible. Uh, this one, I believe, uh, this one is a stickerless of that, I believe. And if I were to get one, I would highly, highly recommend getting the stickerless. However, if you want a competition legal 3x3, uh, such as this, I would get this. Uh, there are definitely other cubes in the market that I would recommend over this. Moi Wheel of Time seems like a fun puzzle. It's a fun scramble for sure. And I just noticed I did not turn this during the scramble, which I will now do. Alright, so I've gone ahead and correctly scrambled this now. So, one thing I want to say before my outro is I have actually started a behind the scenes channel. Now, I will be posting a separate video about this channel, however, I, do, I did want to mention it just in case if this video comes out before the, uh, the video is talking specifically about this. But I will have a link in the description to the behind the scenes of any videos that do have behind the scenes. So in the video that came out on March 2nd, I know that video did have behind the scenes footage. Uh, basically, just anything that didn't make the original video, I will put in that. And I'm going to start recording uh, more behind the scenes when I record my videos. And those videos will be out at the exact same time as the original video, or the completed and finished video. Uh, so that link can be found in the description. I will also put an annotation somewhere on the screen right now. Uh, I'd love it if you guys went and subscribed. A warning, there is going to be inappropriate language. Uh, I'll try and keep it not super inappropriate, but I will swear because I do swear, I'm 18, I swear a lot, I have a bad habit of swearing, but I do not swear on this channel because I know there is a young audience, however, uh, if you do not, if you're not comfortable with me swearing, please do not go ahead and look at that channel because there is swearing. Anyways, uh, there will be another video on that, it may have been out already depending on when I upload this video, but if you guys uh, have any questions, please feel free to let me know in the comments below. Thanks once again to Light Take for sending me all of these. I really do appreciate it. You guys should go check out their store. I'll have a link in the description. My question for this video is what is your favorite type of cube? For example, mine is Ghost Cube and 3x3 uh, three three Shape Mods, which Ghost Cube actually falls under that category. But Ghost Cube is definitely my favorite type of uh, cube. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed, and thanks for watching. Are we built